Oh, hey, I'm Craig and I'm in the closet. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Masters of the Universe characters, Modulok, the evil beast of a thousand bodies. We'll be discussing both the 80s classic as well as the Super 7 21st century neo classic. Yeah, here he is. This is kind of, to me, the quintessential version of the character with uh, both heads, the claws, little tail, four legs. To me, that's the way Modulok should definitely look nine times out of ten. I have lost some of the parts over the years, apparently, because he's supposed to come with human-style hands and arms, but uh, I don't have those, so he's stuck with claws for now. The original figure came with about 22 pieces and you could interchange them kind of Lego style and make different uh, versions of the character. Over the years I've actually gained a whole spare body with an extra head. For some reason this head is the hardest one to find and the other head is more common. I have no idea why. As you can see I have two different styles of legs here. He comes with a third set which are the kind of the claw style. Okay, here's Modulot kind of compared to the average uh, standard issue He-Man character. You can see he's pretty proportional and he fits in quite well. Okay, these are all the pieces of the original Modulok that I currently own, which obviously there's more than one figure mixed in, but I still don't quite have all the pieces. Regardless, this gives you an idea of how much fun you could have with this character as a kid, especially if you had a friend that also owned Modulok and you could create really strange variations. This is a, a super Modulok. He has uh, two torsos, two tails, four arms, five legs, and is totally useless in a fight. And yeah, I still have my original mini comic. You can kind of tell why I thought this was a diminutive minion type character by his portrayal in the mini comic, which contrasts pretty heavily with how he was in Filmation. He was kind of a scientist and a really big smart guy. In this mini comic, he's a little sillier and maybe a schemer, but not the smartest guy. And he's kind of like ugly cute rather than uh, deep voiced and menacing like he was in the Filmation versions in He-Man and She-Ra. Like, I don't picture this like, master, wait for me. I picture it more like, Master, wait for me! As far as the action figures and characters of Masters of the Universe, I would put Modulok, mmm, maybe top five characters? Uh, ooh, I don't know. I love I love the villains. You ask me on a certain day, I like Faker a little bit more. I like Stinkor. And obviously the Godfather, which is a Skeletor. I don't know. Who's your favorite of the Masters of the Universe villains? There you have it, uh, Super 7 with the amazing packaging as always. Let's do a little grand reveal. Ah, yeah! Beautiful box. Super cool artwork on the back. Very pleased with this one. And Super 7 always knocks it out of the park with any kind of Masters of the Universe property or really anything that they handle. It's a really cool uh, company that seems to really care about quality control and making things that a toy collector would really appreciate at a halfway decent price point. Uh, let's get a little more aggressive with it. Just, yeah. Put the more sinister head. Eh. Yeah. That's kind of, that was a look from the actual cartoon, right? From Filmation. So you can have a, a spot on version from the cartoon if you feel like it. Or you can stick this guy back on and it can be a little bit more like the classic toy. I guess this would be kind of the classic pose if you wanted to uh, emulate the cartoon. Ah, but you know what? I'm going to let uh, the dorkier bug eyed version get his revenge. Yeah. How do you like that? You have a lot of articulation with this character. I mean, pretty much any way you want to pose him is possible. Yeah, kind of a red dragon moment here. And since he has three legs, he's extremely easy to stand up, kind of hold his own. You see, uh, he comes with a few attachments. So here he has like a gigantic mallet hand, which is really fun. 
have to say, I, I don't know what this thing is, though. What is this? This is, a. Uh, this is a little weird. Uh, I don't know, is this some kind of lore that I don't know about from uh, the cartoon that I've forgotten? But yeah, I would say this is a rare case where this is one of my favorite classic figures, and this is gonna end up being one of my favorite modern figures. Yeah, knocked it out of the park both times with this character. Mattel, Super 7. Oh, you could even think of it as like an alternate universe where the Filmation Moduloc creates the Mattel version as one of his minions. Then you can have the best of both worlds, the impish version and the deep-voiced uh, scientist mastermind version. So yeah, there you have it. Moduloc, the beast of 1,000 bodies. I hope you enjoyed checking it out with me. Well, guys, thank you for joining me on this trip down MOTU memory lane. Remember, life is short, but death is long. Until next time, I'm Craig, and I'll be in the closet. Hi.